create a local chatbot with your private data using Olama, OceanBase, and DeFi. The reason why I'm really excited about this is because we are using Olama, which is free for us to use to download the large language model. Another one is DeFi, another popular open source large language model app development platform. And finally, OceanBase, an enterprise distributed relational database with high availability, high performance, horizontal scaling, and compatible with SQL standards. All of these tools are open source for you to use. You can download and run locally. By the end of this video, you will create a chatbot like this. Now in this chatbot, when you ask a question like this, which is from your private data, what is Mint QA, and it is able to answer correctly because this chatbot knows about your custom data. If we don't provide our custom data to this chatbot, this chatbot doesn't know about this information. So I'm going to teach you how you can ingest your custom data to a chatbot so that the chatbot can answer with accuracy. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can install this Olama, OceanBase and DeFi and get that custom chatbot working 100% local on your computer. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about local chatbot with private custom data running locally on your computer. And thanks to OceanBase for sponsoring this video. The reason why we use OceanBase is because when you set up a normal DeFi application, you need a Postgres that is a structured database and VV8 to store the vector data. But using OceanBase, you can consolidate that. Both SQL data and also vector database is available in this one. That is super cool. You don't need to manage multiple database. You can just manage with one database. Also, this is open source for you to download and use. It's multi-cloud, which means you can host on AWS, GCP or Azure. Distributed database. Your data is available on multiple nodes or multiple cloud so that your data is highly available with zero downtime. It's used for mission critical workloads at any scale. You can scale as much as you want. You can also have multi workload for your real time analytics. The thing which I'm excited about it is that it can handle SQL, NoSQL and vector database. So that's why we are using that here. It supports multimodal that is accepting different data types, JSON, XML and much more. So to create a chatbot like this, which you can publish on your website as well, there are three different steps. First is installing Olama, then installing OceanBase and installing DeFi. So let's get started with Olama. I'm going to use Docker to install all these packages so that it's more simple and streamlined. So download Docker and install it on your computer. In Docker, make sure the RAM usage is about 8 GB because we are going to load three different tools. I'm using a Linux machine. So to install Olama, Docker run and then this whole code. I'll put all the code and the information in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it. So after this, click enter. Next, docker exec olama pull llama3 to download the llama3.2 model and then click enter. This will download the llama3.2 model and it's ready for us to use. Next, step number two, installing OceanBase. That is our database to handle both structured and also the vector database. OceanBase GitHub repo has a detailed documentation on how to install OceanBase. Using Docker is just one line of command. You can just copy that and paste it in your terminal. And here's the command I typed on my terminal. One thing to note is that I'm adding a few more variables such as the memory limit as 8 GB, the file size 10 GB, the cluster name is this, the password is this. This is the password which we are going to use as a root password to log into this database. So after this, click enter. Now to verify, I'm just going to type this command again to show the list of users and I can see only root user available. That is correct. So we are able to connect to OceanBase database. Now I need to create two databases. One is OceanBase1 and then Corpus underscore one. OceanBase1 is a structured MySQL database and Corpus1 is our vector database. So after typing this, click enter. Now it's all created. And the final step, installing DeFi. Even for DeFi, you got Docker to install directly. But before doing that, I'm going to clone the DeFi repo. So adding the full DeFi URL like this and then click enter, git clone. Now navigate to the DeFi folder by going to CD DeFi. Now if I open it in a code editor of my choice, this is how it looks. And this is the Docker folder. There you got scripts and set up env ensh. So we're going to run that script. So next, navigating to the Docker folder, 
Now bash scripts, env, en.sh and then click enter. First is the database host. So this is the IP address for the Docker container. So remember this address. So you can even just type this here if it's different. Then add your port number. Just click enter if you want to keep the default. Then root add test. This is the database username and this is the default username that you need to remember. Then this is the password which we created earlier. Ocean based MySQL database. Then the corpus one vector database. That's it. Now you can see all these tables got created and the connection is also successful. Next, docker compose hyphen hyphen profile workshop up hyphen D and then click enter. That will start all the containers. Type docker ps to verify if it's all working fine. That is amazing. Now all these steps are completed. Now it's time to open D5. And here is the user interface. So first creating from blank. So creating a chatbot and providing a name, local data chatbot. Clicking create. Coming to my settings, there I need to set up my Olama. So you got other model providers here. So clicking add model for Olama. Model name Llama 3.2. And remember this base URL because that's what we are using it. 172.17.01 and colon 11434. That is the base URL for Olama. A chat model with the context and clicking save. That's it. Now it's all ready to use. So clicking close. Now here in the chat provider, I'm choosing Olama and it's all set. Now we need to add our custom data to this chatbot. So let's test this chatbot first. I'm just saying hi. And here is a response from Llama 3.2. That is brilliant. So next step is to add context. So generally for a custom data chatbot or a RAG chatbot, the first step is to upload data that is indexing. So you upload data that will get stored in the vector database that is ocean based vector database. So the next step is querying where the user asks a question and relevant information is pulled from the vector database, passed to the large language model that is Llama 3.2 using Olama, then is sent back to the user with the answer that is more accurate. So we have completed doing this step. Now we are going to do this step. So clicking knowledge. So here creating knowledge, uploading a file that is my custom data. It's uploaded now clicking next, keeping all the thing default and you can see all the chunks created with the different character length. If you want to use other embedding model, you can choose this, but I'm going to use the default and clicking save and process. Now that data got saved in the vector database and is ready for us to use. Now I can go back to studio or local chatbot. And now here I can add the context, clicking add, clicking this and clicking add. Now I've assigned the data to the context. Now I can ask a question. So this data or the PDF is about mint QA. So this chatbot doesn't know about that by default. By adding this context, it's going to answer us correctly, asking what is mint QA and clicking enter. And here is the answer directly from the chatbot telling about what is Mint QA, multi-hop question answering. That is amazing. Now you are able to use the custom data and able to ask question to the chatbot. Also, everything is open source. Also note that you can add your Olama embedding model by clicking add model, then text embedding. If you want to use nomic embed text, you can add nomic embed text and the URL path here, same as before. And we need to pull nomic embed text. In that way, you can use embedding from Olama completely for free to make it more efficient. To double check if everything is working fine, just type docker ps and you should be able to see all the packages got installed without any errors. That is amazing. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'm really excited about this. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.